Hi, Alex. Hi. I'm Nurse B. I'm going to be doing a head to toe assessment on you today. Um, looking here in your chart, looks like you had a bit of an injury to the shoulder, so the left or the right shoulder? The right. The right shoulder, okay. Can you tell me a little bit about what happened there? Um, last weekend I was hiking and I tripped on a rock mm -hmm. and then I fell and it landed right on my landed shoulder. Landed right on the shoulder, okay. And did you have any immediate pain or did it come on a little later? Immediately. Immediately. And you still feel that same level of pain or has it gotten better or worse over time? Um, it kind of dulled but then it's like sharp again, like it'll throb. It'll throb, throbbing pain, okay. And for one week, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, have you um, done any treatment on it? Have you iced it? Have you um, stretched it, anything like that? I've used some ice and some Advil. Ice and Advil, okay. And do those things make it better, worse? Yeah, it seems to help, but it doesn't last too long. Right, it comes back and continues to be painful. Okay, so we'll check that out. Um, did you fall, did you hit anywhere else when you fell or was it mainly on your shoulder? Mainly the shoulder. You don't hit, didn't hit your head that you noticed at mm -hmm. all and no like issues with, with thinking, headaches, remembering anything that's new for you? No. Okay, just making sure that you didn't um, lose any consciousness or anything like that when you fell. Didn't lose. All right, so we will pay particular attention when we get there, um, but because it is your first time in, we do want to go head to toe systematically and just make sure there's nothing else that we're missing and get a baseline for future exams. Does that sound good to you? Yeah. All right, so I will just ask you a few questions again, starting head to toe. Um, you mentioned no headaches since the uh, accident. Is that headache something you experience frequently or? I do get migraines, but they haven't worsened or. Okay. How often would you say you're getting them? Um, I get about four a month. Okay, that's pretty frequent. And are they debilitating to the point of not being able to function or are they manageable for you? If I take some Advil, then it, you know, I can manage it. Okay. And what about um, anything else with the scalp? Any itching of the head? Any issues with the hair or anything like that? No. no. Okay, great. Um, any, do you wear glasses or corrective lenses? Yeah, I wear contacts. Contacts, are they in right now? Yeah. And how is that prescription working for you? It's good. Great. So contacts, correct. And you're seeing an eye doctor probably every year then? Yeah. Okay. Any changes in your smell or ability to breathe through the nose? No. Okay. And what about taste? Any changes in your taste or any sores or pains in the mouth? No. Okay, and are you visiting a dentist uh, every six months? Pretty much. Pretty much, six months to a year? Yeah. Okay. So dentist visits, probably a little less frequently than we would recommend, but as long as you're not having any pains, issues, and you're taking good care of your teeth, I mean, you're quite young, so we're not too worried about that. Uh, moving down, so obviously you have the pain in your right shoulder. Any other joint pains uh, besides the injury area in the upper body? Shoulders, wrist, elbows, things like that? No. Okay, great. You're very lucky. Um, any tingling in the hands or um, funny sensations here up and down the arms? Mm-mm. Okay, no. Moving down to the chest, um, any feeling of fluttering in the chest, any skipping a beat of the heart or chest pains? I do have anxiety, so I okay. get the pounding sometimes. Okay. Um, how long have you been uh, feeling those symptoms? Years? Years. Years, okay. And um, do you have a management program for those? Do you have a, what, something you go to when you feel start feeling that way? Yeah, I do a lot of deep breathing. Deep breathing's great. 
Okay, well, we'll definitely take a listen to the chest as well. We, um, anxiety can definitely cause that fluttering, can definitely cause that feeling of like, oh, I can't quite breathe or get a good breath in, but we also wanna make sure we're ruling out any medical reasons for that as well. Um, any changes in your diet or your stomach, pains, no. anything like that? Okay. And do you eat any sort of special diet, vegetarian or um, pescatarian, no bread, things like that? Um, I'm allergic to dairy. No but... dairy, okay. And you're able to avoid that comfortably. Yeah. Great. It's very common. A lot of people have at least some sensitivity to dairy. Um, moving down to the hips, any pain or crepitus, any um, aches, things like that when you're walking, jumping? No. Okay, I'll have you walk a little bit for me later to do it. just see your gait. You don't walk with any assisted items, right? No canes, no walkers. No. And same thing, no pain, in, any pain in the knees or inability to bend, anything like that? No, they're good. Okay. And how about the, um, any of that tingling sensation in the feet, anything like that? No. Okay. All right, so I think, Alex, I have a great baseline to go off of here. Um, I'm going to just sanitize my hands and perform the physical assessment. Um, during this assessment, I will be touching you. Um, is that okay? Yes. Okay. If you feel uncomfortable at any time, please let me know so I can adjust and um, do the assessment a different way. But otherwise, we'll get started. Okay. So I am going to sanitize my hands here, and I'm going to start out with your vital signs. Um, any feeling of feverishness today? No. Take the temperature, so just look that way for me. I'm gonna run this across your forehead and behind the ear. Same thing on this side. Okay, 98.2, so that's perfect. I'm just going to test the temperature in your hands as well. Um, flip them over for me. Just sometimes get cooler hands or feet. The hands feel nice and warm, so that's good. Have you ever had your blood pressure taken before? Mm -hmm. Okay. And have you had any high or low blood pressure in the past? It tends to be lower. It tends to be lower. Okay, so we'll check it out. Is, um, I know this injury here, is that going to be okay if we use this arm? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So I'm just going to scoot that up just a little. That's fine. Perfect. right there for me. So you will feel the cuff tighten a little. One more time. There we go. All right, so it is a little bit low, um, 102 over 62. So I am gonna make a note of that uh, just to watch. Do you ever feel any lightheadedness when you stand up, anything like that? Yeah, sometimes. Do. Okay. So that's a common problem for you. Um, again, not really in the um, hypotension range that we would be worried about, but you can definitely experience those symptoms of mm -hmm. feeling a little lightheaded or maybe the vision darkening when you get up too quickly. I'm gonna apply some gloves and look through the hair. Just 
stare straight ahead for me, please. I'm just going to look through the scalp. And the hair is really nice and even, good color. Does look like you have a little bit of color in the hair, is that correct? Mm -hmm. But it looks really healthy, it's not brittle or anything. through a comb here. I'm going to see if anything comes out. I'm just looking for any critters, any excess of flaking. There is dry shampoo in there. Some dry shampoo? Yeah, no problem. That has a very different look than um, anything that would be lurking. Looks really nice and healthy to me. Nice and clean. Okay, I am gonna press on the head now. I want you to tell me if you're experiencing any pain. Any of that painful? Mm-mm. Okay, moving down to the back. Feeling for lumps and pumps. It's all okay? Yeah. Okay. So while I'm here, I'm going to have you make some movements of the neck. So I just want you to tilt down as far as possible. Any pain or discomfort with that? No. Okay. Can you come back as far as possible? Good range of motion. That's no pain there? No. Okay. Can you tilt to the shoulder here? Okay. Just a little bit of cracking and on this side. Good range of motion. I'm going to um, gently place my hand here and I want you to turn against it that way. Good, nice and strong, and this way. And push forward for me, and back for me. Okay, so that's good neck um, movements there. Did that shoot any pain into the shoulder? Just a little. A little bit, okay. And no pain on this side though, no. right? So it definitely is because of that injury. Okay, I'm just checking for any bruising, especially because you did fall. the skin as well. Any history of um, skin um, cancers or moles, removals, anything like that? Um, I've had a few removed. Okay. Um, it runs in my family, so I get them checked, but they were all benign. All benign. Great. Great. Just check the ears again while I have my light out. You do have several piercings. They all look very healthy. Any pain on the ear there? No. On this side? No. Okay. I'm just going to check the face. Again, just keep looking straight ahead here. Looking at the skin, skin is really clear. There's a little bit of, um, looks like rouging on, but it looks like the skin is very clear. Very little oil production on the skin. Very lucky to have nice, beautiful skin. Okay, and the eyebrows look very dis evenly distributed. I'm gonna just press on the sinuses here. Any pain there? No. What about there? No. Okay. I'm gonna be performing a blink test. So 
just going to take a little bit of a cotton stick here. And I want you to stare straight ahead and I'm going to look for a reflex in the eyes here. Good. Very good. So the blink reflex is intact. Um, while I have this, I'll test sensory function of the face. So I'll show you on your arm. It's just sort of soft, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I just want you to tell me yes when you feel it. So close your eyes for me. Yes. 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 Okay. Does this feel the same as that? Yes. Here. Here, yes. same both sides. Yes. Okay. Any difference when I go up the side of the face? Everything feels pretty similar. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. And here. Mm -hmm. Got two tools here. One is sort of a sharp roller. And the other is a very soft pop, so you really should be able to differentiate mm -hmm. if it's sharp or soft. Um, again, I'll show you on your arm here. So this is quite sharp, but it's not going to break the skin. Feel that? And then like that is very soft mm -hmm. and light. So again, keep your eyes closed, um, and I'm just going to run it over the skin, and I want you to tell me sharp or dull. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Sharp. Dull. 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 Sharp. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Sharp. Sharp. Okay. And does this feel as sharp here and here? Yes. Here. And here? Yes. Here. And here. So all the sensory function in the face is intact. Let me make a couple of faces for me. Um, so I'm just gonna have you smile for me. And can you frown and lift your eyebrows up and keep them there? Good. And puff your cheeks out. Don't let me push them in. Okay. So the facial symmetry is good and nice and strong. We'll just check with the calipers side to side as well, just to make sure. So Right in the middle there, perfect. And we're not looking for perfect symmetry, we're just looking for any obvious deformity or swelling, anything that can indicate that you may have hit your head unknowingly. Mm -hmm. It looks fine so far. Now just looking at the ratio of the face. Again, there's no right or wrong answer. It's just about seeing the difference between the sections of the face. And they look to be all within normal range. I'm going to measure around the cranium here. 55. So we'll just keep an eye on that if there's any changes. And then I'm just going to get around the neck. I'm going to go very gently. Um, so I know this can be a little uncomfortable, but if there's any changes in the thyroid or swelling in that area, we'll be able to track it. Okay. All done. So again, I'm just going to feel the throat here, feeling the lymph nodes.
closer to your shoulders for me. If it's not too painful on this side, you turn them up. Keep them up. Yep. Thank you. Okay, relax this one. I know it's painful. Okay. Just checking the post auricular here. Okay. Um, are you able to swallow for me? No problems that I noted there. So I'll move on to your eyes now. Um, and you do wear corrective contacts and you have them in now mm -hmm. and you're able to see, correct? Yes. So uh, we will be testing based on your current prescription. Um, and I'm going to start out with just this chart right here. Do you see this right mm -hmm. here? Yes. Okay. I am going to first with both eyes open, just point to a couple letters. Can you tell me what that letter is? F. And what about this letter? D. Good. L. Okay, read this whole line for me, please. L E F O D P C T. Okay, go ahead and cover one eye up. Choose which one. Let your eyes adjust, and then I want you to read um, this line backwards for me. T C P D O F E L. Okay, and can you switch eyes for me? And can you read this line forwards? F D. P L T C E O. Great. So it looks like your prescription is correct. You're able to see. Um, we can do a couple of t color tests here. So, any issues with color blindness in the past? Okay. So, I just have a book here. And I'm going to show you a couple of pages. And I want you to tell me what number you see there. 29. Very good. Five. Yep, that's perfect. They're not easy. Three. Good. I can't tell. Okay, that's fine. About this one. Forty-five. Good. Okay, try this one again because you were able to see the previous color palette, maybe a little further away. Um, it is six, so oh. that. Um, but you were able to see the the forty-five, and then what about this one. Five. Okay. So I would say for the most part, your color spectrum is fairly clear. Um, I'm not too concerned missing just one. Um, but if you do find that you're having trouble with the green uh, orange spectrum. That could be something that we could warrant for in further testing, okay? Okay. 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 Um, I'm going to look into the eyes now, starting out just with my pen light here, actually. And again, just stare, stare straight over there for me. Okay. And I want you to just look, you see the lamp in the corner? Mm -hmm. Just stare at that lamp and ignore me. I'm going to be shining a light in the eye and it's going to be quite bright. Good. Just watching the pupils react. They're perfect reactive. Um, keep staring over there, ignore this pen. Now look at the pen and back at the wall. Very good. Uh, can you see this clear here? No double vision? Mm -hmm. All right, follow it everywhere it goes, just with your eyes. Don't move your head. Good movements of the eye. Any dizziness with that? No. All right, very good. The pupil size, it's about A4, but it's quite low, low light in here, so that makes sense. Take a look into the back of the eye. I'm going to get quite close for this, so I do apologize. And just look straight ahead for me. Okay, coming around to this side.
that is all fine. Just do one more test here of your peripheral vision. Um, so can you see me all right? Mm -hmm. I want you to stare right at my nose. Okay. And I'm going to be wiggling my fingers. And I want you to just tell me when you see them come into your peripheral. Yeah. Good? No. Keep staring straight at my nose. No. 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 Okay, cover one eye up for me. I'll do the same. Same thing. Keep staring at my nose. No. 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 Good. Another eye, please. No. 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 Okay. Both eyes uncovered. Uh, um, looking at my nose. How many fingers am I holding up? Two. On this side? Three. Take a look into the ears now. We'll do a bit of a hearing test. You said no issues with hearing, right? Not that I know of. Okay. So I already looked at the outside of the ears, so I'm just gonna take a peek in. Just a little bit of redness. Do you ever wear earbuds in the ear itself? Um, sometimes I wear earplugs at night. Okay, yeah, that could do it. Yeah, it just looks a little bit a little bit irritated. It's not as bad. So let's do some hearing tests. I'm gonna make a little noise next to your ear. Close your eyes. Just, do you hear that? Mm -hmm. Tell me when it goes away. No. Okay, on this side. You hear that? Mm-hmm. No. Okay, I'm gonna plug this one up. I'm gonna whisper something on this side. So I want to make sure I'm not going to be hurting you by doing that. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Just tell me what you hear. 4LR. 4LR. Very good. And on this side? BB6. BB6. So hearing is intact. Um, you're not experiencing any other symptoms there, so I don't think we need to do any further testing. Uh, now I want to um, move on to the mouth. And I'm just going to take a quick peek inside. You said no taste changes in your taste or anything like that. So no. just open up and say, ah, for me. Ah. Uh, okay. Everything looks good in there. It really rises. I'm just going to have you push your tongue into my hand here, testing the strength of the tongue in there. Okay. And can you stick it out and move it side to side? Nice and symmetrical. So that's essentially your head done. Um, I do want to move down now to the shoulder, especially because you're having issues. So I am going to feel it very um, gently here. Okay. Okay. So just tell me when the pain starts. Is it painful up here at all? Just a little. Just a little. And when does it start to get worse? Down there. Right down here. Mm -hmm. How about in front here? Yes. Back? Yes, that lower spot. Lower right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's like across the front. Any pain into the arm? Just a little. Okay. Just feeling for swelling here. Definitely a little bit of edema right back here. I'm gonna tap. Any shooting pains with this? No, but it's a. It's like Does a it dull. create that th throbbing pain? Not throbbing. Just the dull. No. Okay, but nothing shooting down the arm, right? No. Okay, I'm gonna have you make some movements, and I'm just gonna feel while you do that. Um, first, let me sort of do it for you. That make the pain worse? Mm -hmm. What about this way? It feels better. That's not as bad as going up. Right. Okay. Going back. It's okay. It's okay. So the worst is the up. The up. Okay. I'm not going to do that anymore. So I do think there is some swelling here. I'm wondering if you actually have, we won't know until we get an x-ray, if you actually have a slight fracture of this collarbone here, or if it's just a you know, a bruise, just a pulled muscle. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna, do you mind if I just look in the inside for mm, really quickly? Okay. And I do see some bruising in there actually. Okay. Move down the arm here. I'm just seeing if there's any swelling or draining down the arm. Any pain here? No. Tell me when it starts to feel painful. 
Right there. Right here. Okay, so it's really down the whole arm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just relax. So because it is so far down, and it's not like a shooting pain, right? It's just sort of a dull ache. Yeah. I'm thinking it's probably not a fracture because that would cause a lot of pain up in this area that would then radiate down the arm. But rather the muscle, there's two muscles that run here. There's one that runs across the chest and there's one that runs behind over the shoulder blade. Mm -hmm. um, and my guess is you just bruise that muscle. And a bruised muscle can be very painful and it can take a long time to heal, but there's not that much you can do besides um, ibuprofen and ice like you're already doing, as well as stretching. Okay. So that any of that swelling and scar tissue that's building up there, you can kind of break down to the point of your comfort level. Um, let's continue the exam to see if there's anything else that stands out that you might have happened when you fell. Um, but yeah, that's my initial diagnosis. I will send you for an x-ray though, to be sure. Okay. Um, so I'll continue down the arms. I'm just gonna remove my gloves so I can feel the temperature here. You're doing okay so far, Alex? Okay. I know this one can be very thorough, but since it's our first time seeing you, it's really important. Okay, so forgive my slightly damp, sanitized hands here. I just want to feel the temperature. And the nails are painted, but I just want to check the cap fill on the bottom. It's nice and brisk. Okay, the skin looks good, warm and dry to touch. Check the other side here. You do have a tattoo, but that looks pretty healed up. Mm -hmm. How long have you had that? Um, probably like seven years. Okay, quite a long time. No problems, right? No bleeding or... No. Okay, great. Right, I'm going to have you make some movements with the arms as best as you can with that shoulder. If it's too painful, please stop. Um, but I'm just going to have you go up and down like this. Like that? Mm -hmm, exactly. And I'm going to test your strength, so keep doing that against my resistance. Okay, does that cause more discomfort here? Yeah, a little on this okay. side. And flip the arms over and um, try and just put the hands up and down. Exactly. Okay, and against my resistance, just hold your hand there. And on the side, just hold the hand there. Okay, and down. Don't let me pull it out. Very good. Very good. Can you make a little okay sign just like that? Don't let me pull it through. Okay. Um, and then just for range of motion, can you do that? Good. Any pain in the no. thumbs or anything? Up like this. Again, I know that's painful in your shoulder, but any tingling on the inside? No. Reverse it for me, please. Same thing. Just hold it there. Push against each other. Any issues? No. All right, relax for me, just for that shoulder. Um, touch each one of your fingers just like that, testing your neurological function. Very good, and back and forth. Very good. Um, I'll do that same sensory testing right on the arm. So again, just say yes when you feel it, but close your eyes for me. Yes. 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 Can you lift the hand? Good. Yes. 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 Okay. I've got that sharp tool again. And I just want you to tell me sharp or dull. 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 Sharp. 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 Good. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Say yes when you feel it. And what does that feel like? Dull. Sharp. Sharp. Dull. All right, so sensory is intact. I'm gonna be moving your finger up or down here. I want you to tell me which way it feels. So that's down and that's up, okay? Close your eyes. Yep, close your eyes. What is that? Down. Up. Up. Okay, on this finger. Down. 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 Good. Try the other side. Down. Good. Up. Up. Down. 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 Very good. 
I'm going to give you something to hold, keeping your eyes closed, and I want you to just tell me um, what it is without opening your eyes. So what does this feel like? You can use both hands. A book. Okay, very good. And I'll just give you a one more thing. Okay, I'm going to hand you something. What does that feel like? A feather. A feather. Very good. Okay. So that's all fine. Um, Let's move uh, onto the reflexes of the arm. So I'm going to try and do this one really gently. So give me all your weight. Just completely go loose. There we go. Again, just relax completely. Let me have the weight of the arm. There we go. I'm going to scrape that. I want you to look straight ahead. Don't pay attention. Let your jaw hang for me. Okay, same thing on the other side. I'm just gonna come around. And this one, give me all the weight of the elbow here. Not as reactive on this side. And again, I'm going to scrape this one here. Okay. So while I have this out, I'll move down to your legs. So if you'll just uncross and scooch back as far as you can. Right, so just relax as much as you can. If you just put your leg out like that exactly. So it's almost like hanging. There we go. And this side. There we go. Check the ankles. Can you feel this all the way down the leg? Yes. Same thing here, feel that all the way down? Yes. Got just those couple of tools here. Feel that? Mm-hmm. Say yes when you feel it? Yes. 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 Okay. And what does this feel like to you? Sharp. 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 Okay. I'm going to have you move your legs a little, so I just want you to uh, lift this leg up and hold it there. Okay, lift this leg up and hold it. Can you um, push this one out against me and pull it back? Very good. Push this out and pull it back. I'm going to have you stand up. Okay. And can you um, just stand up on one foot, so lift this one up for a second? Okay, and the other side. All right, and can you just do a little hop? I just want to see you lift off the ground. Perfect. All right, feel free to have a seat. All right, before we conclude the assessment, I do just want to take a listen to your chest because you mentioned that little bit of fluttering. So. Any of the activities that we did today cause you that fluttering? Any? No. Issues from exercise, things like that? No. Okay. So I'm just going to start out with the heart. So breathe normally for me. That all sounds normal. Will you take a deep breath for me? And out. One more. into the back. Just one breath in and out. I don't hear any crackling. Expansion seems good. You can take a deep, one more deep breath and let it out. I'm going to be placing my hands on your back. I want you to say 99. 99. 99. 99. Okay, that's fine. I'm um, just going to tap here, listening for some resonance. I'm not hearing any density, denseness, any water in the lungs, anything like that. Okay. 
always be feeling the spine as long as I'm back here. Any pain down the back spine? No. Okay, can you lean forward for me? And sort of tilt your head down all the way. Very good. All right, and come back up slowly. Right. So let me grab my computer. I'm going to take some notes here from our assessment today. Alex, well, you did great. Um, no major concerns besides that shoulder. I am going to refer you for an x-ray. I want to make sure there is no fracture in that collarbone area since the pain is so spread out. We, if there's no fracture, just probably bruised. Muscle. Probably bruised. Um, yeah, we'll see what the results say, but it could be a bruise. Uh, it's, it's a little hard to tell without like a full MRI, but we try not to make you do that because it's just quite an ordeal right away so we'll just move step to step until we get it figured out um, it's only been a week though so i would say we're not at that point where we're really doing deep investigation unless it's truly like disabling you like if you can still sleep at night if you can still manage with ibuprofen and ice then we'll see what happens for another week or two obviously if you're in extreme amount of pain we can speed up that investigative um, experience okay and then I also just want to note a little bit of that color blindness um, potential if it might get worse over time. Um, but usually you either experience some um, difficulty with colors or not. So I'm not too concerned if you're not able to, um, you may not be able to ever pass a test to fly a plane, uh, but it's not disrupting your everyday life, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And other than that, very normal findings. Do you have any questions for me? I don't think so. Okay, so let me send in that referral for you um, and we'll see you back here uh, to look over the results, all right? Okay. Nice to meet you. You too, thanks. Thank you.